Alzheimer's is a difficult diagnosis for patients and their families. This can be especially true for patients already dealing with other medical conditions like Down syndrome. News 4's Shoshana Stahl reports researchers are working to better understand the link between Alzheimer's and Down syndrome. The Down Syndrome Association of Greater St. Louis serves more than 2,000 people across the metro. Executive Director Aaron Solman says people with Down syndrome are living longer than ever before, and it's leading to more research on a connection between Down syndrome and Alzheimer's. 100% of people with Down syndrome will develop the same um, plaques and tangles in their brain as a typically developing person with Alzheimer's disease. So there is a connection that third copy of the 21st chromosome is causing all people with Down syndrome to develop these plaques and tangles. But that doesn't mean everyone with Down syndrome will get that diagnosis. By the time they're in their 60s, Sulman says half of the people with Down syndrome will develop symptoms of Alzheimer's. When we talk about research and understanding possible treatments and cures, there is there's so much that we can learn about why 50% of those people are getting the symptoms of Alzheimer's and the other 50% are not. Although there is hope on the horizon to slow memory loss through recently FDA approved drugs, Sarah Lovegreen with the Alzheimer's Association says those treatments haven't been tested on people with Down syndrome. We don't know if they're effective, so we're still needing to do a lot of that work. That's why they're recommending people with Down syndrome to get a baseline screening at 30 years old. It allows caretakers and doctors to track any changes that develop. There may need to be more advanced care planning for the person living with the disease should they outlive their parents or other caregivers. A free virtual program is being offered on Tuesday to provide resources to the community. We have a link to that in this story online and on the KMOV News app. Reporting in St. Louis County, Shoshana Stahl, News 4.